Taraja, you've uh, faced Utah before. Um, what was that first matchup like when you guys played them in the Rose Bowl? Uh, very uh, talented, tough, and physical team. Uh, I think they're one of the better programs in the country. Uh, Coach Wayne Ham, uh, he's done a tremendous job getting those guys ready for games uh, week in and week out. What was the game plan for Cam Rising in that matchup, and, and what do you think about when you faced him? Uh, first of all, he's a great decision maker, so just trying to, you know, uh, back then, trying to uh, give him different disguises, different shells, different defensive shells to give him different looks because he's a great decision maker. Uh, he's, all, he's also good with his feet, so just trying to contain him, keep him in the pocket. For linebackers, how, how big of a responsibility is it covering their tight ends because they involve them so heavily in passing? Uh, it's very important. Like you said, they have a great tight end at Keithy. Uh, so, so, so it's important for us as linebackers to you know, be able to cover them and be able to uh, defeat blocks against them as well. Uh, they have great blocking tight ends as well. Cam's, Cam's been injured uh, for his ACL in, in the Rose Bowl last year. And Sure, if he'll play. What's been the defensive mindset just trying to prepare for maybe three different quarterbacks potentially? Uh, I think Coach Armstrong is putting together a great plan for us, uh, regardless of what quarterback we get. So we're just confident in our game plan. Our, our focus is on us and what we do as a defense. Uh, regardless of who we get out there, the quarterback, our job is to just go out there and perform, and perform the plan that's uh, put forth. I mean, just a simple question. What's the excitement level now that it's finally here week one? Oh, it's exciting. It's been a long off season. We've been working every day, putting in the work, and we're we're getting sick and tired of going against each other. It's finally time to go against another team. So the team's excited. We can't wait. What did you take from the Swamp Kings documentary? Uh, the, like I said, there, there's a pride put on that uniform. There's a standard that's been set, and it's important to us as current players to make sure we live up to that standard day in and day out. How much of you and your teammates watched it? Uh, I, I think the whole team has watched it. Like I said, it's a very exciting documentary just to see the history of Florida and all that's been done here in this program. It's important for us to you know, get, restore the order and get back to that state. After it came out, what was the buzz like in the locker room, around the team the next day? How much have guys been talking about it? Uh, like I said, the documentary has really just been motivating to the whole team. It's like, we can go harder. We can go even harder. There's another step to this thing. So. God, it's really been motivating for the guys. Have you had a chance to ask Brandon Spikes about it at all? Uh, I have. I always ask him. Uh, being that we both played for Coach Meyer, we always have those talks. So he's, he's been he's been an inspiration to us, and being a, having him around every day has been been an energy boost well, for us. What was it like for you to obviously you've been around him now for, for a couple of months? What was it like to watch a documentary where, where it showed him as a player and what he was like? Uh, it's just like it's all inspirational. That's what it comes down to. At the end of the day. It's all inspirational. Just seeing. The Florida Grace and the linebacker great like that, seeing what he do and knowing that you have the opportunity to one day do the same things he's done. So it's all the biggest inspiration. Did you know he was that good in college? I did. Okay. <laughs>